Hi guys, um, my name is Tish and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am here today in um, Food For All, which is my local health food store in Hackney. I'm gonna be showing you what's available in a health food store because I'm sure a lot of people who don't know about plant-based and a plant-based way of living must be really confused when entering a big health food store and just not knowing where to start. So baking, I quite like coconut palm sugar, which I only started using recently. I do like to use it for things like making banana bread, um, maple syrup, get really good quality maple syrup, it can be a bit um, costy, um, but again, that's another popular one. So here we have different seed and nut butters. It's not a necessity in my kitchen personally. I buy it occasionally and I like to just maybe put a bit of almond butter on top of my porridge, things like that. Uh, that wheat bread, that has to be the number one thing that just has to go and I know how difficult it can be because I love bread. It is literally my weakness. So there are alternatives. We have um, different types of bread. This one actually I quite like. Oh, I haven't had this for a while. This is from um, Everfresh Bakery. That's the name of the um, brand. This is called, oh no, no, I wanted the spelt one. So this is the sprouted spelt bread, which, oh yeah, this stuff's really good. It's almost got like a sweet kind of taste to it. Moving on to all the seeds. Seeds just make me happy. So I don't really like to put foods into a category and call them superfoods. So all this superfood thing, it's just a way of basically making foods more expensive to sell. But um, one of my favorite things to make, um, to make up hemp seed milk, of course, are hemp seeds. So you have two different types of hemp seeds that you can buy. So you have the whole hemp seed, which is this one, um, and then you have the whole hemp seed, which is without the shell. I like to use the whole hemp seed to make up hemp seed milk, especially when I'm in a rush. To be honest, I don't even usually um, strain it. I don't even find that you need to. I just whiz it up maybe with a couple of dates um, and some water, and it makes a really good hemp seed milk. Then we have um, chia seed. They're this tiny little seed that um, that expand once you add liquid to it. So it's actually quite useful for baking. It's useful for binding mixtures together when you're baking. Um, in the summer, I like to make like a chia um, overnight kind of breakfast pot. All of you worried about protein this, protein that. Look at all of the nuts that are available. Using nuts and seeds, I would really advise you to soak. And it's really beneficial for your digestion to soak everything like I literally spend my life soaking things soaking nuts soaking seeds soaking beans soaking soaking my feet if you want to make up um, some nut milk get one of these these are like a nut milk bag it's such an easy process and even all those um, shop bought ones which are filled with crap honestly stay away make your own do your own thing work it out yeah we're gonna do this so moving on to seeds and grains, um, amaranth is something that I am using a lot recently and I just love it. I make the amaranth up into a nice warming porridge that keeps me satisfied. With quinoa, it's not only white quinoa um, that is popular, there are also different types of quinoa, different colours of quinoa. So we have red quinoa and then we also have black quinoa. I think red quinoa is actually my favourite out of white, red and black. Up here we have all of the beans available. Look at them, all of the pulses. I love chickpeas. Again, I don't really buy from tinned. I like to soak everything. Soaking is just the way forward. <laughs> On bars, the centre ones. I like the vanilla and coconut one, but these are incredible and they're vegan <laughs> and they are vegan so but just don't try them if you don't want to get addicted because honestly every time I walk past one now I feel like I have to pick I have to pick it up so we have loose almonds loose cashews guys you don't need dairy to make creamy foods you can use cashews are like the perfect thing to make cashew creams for your um for your food for your desserts um there is always an alternative just yeah we can do this without a cow. <laughs> okay, again, another thing, just, yeah, don't, don't try it. Don't try it because once you've tried it, there's no going back. There is no going back and this stuff is pretty expensive as well. So guys, we have some red lentils, look at that. Chuck it in your curry, chuck, make a red lentil soup. 
Um, again, soak. I would recommend soaking. One of my favourite sections in a health food store are the herbs. I absolutely love herbs and of course spices when you're seasoning, when you're cooking, but not only for cooking, also for medicinal purposes. So here in Food For All, they have such a great variety and selection of herbs. Raspberry leaf, and this is just the most incredible herb for women and our health. So um, from everything from periods, just to hormone balance, to, um, to heavy bleeding, girls, this is the herb. This is the herb to check out. Food doesn't have to be bland. You can spice it up with all of these amazing natural herbs. Stay away from all of those things with E plus this in it and I don't know, all of those. AKA Maggie. Another real blood cleansing herb, burdock. Burdock root. So when it comes to toothpaste, um, again, just if you're starting out, all of this stuff is new to you. The one thing that I would change in my everyday regime <laughs> If it's every day for you, hopefully it is. <laughs> um, the toothpaste that you're using, guys, come on. All of that Colgate, all of those fluoride toothpaste, they are full of rubbish. Go natural. I really like this one. It's Saracan and um, costs £2.50. Like, at least once a week, I'll just soak in, like, Epsom salts. It's going to help my muscles. It's going to relieve all that tension. You could even soak in Himalayan salt. Just use standard natural sea salt. There we go. So guys, that was my health food shop store tour. Um, I really hoped it was helpful in some way and just to kind of introduce you to what's available when eating a plant-based diet. It really isn't restricted. Um, in fact, it's the total opposite. There's so much to learn. There's so much to choose from. There's so much variety. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, um, share and subscribe, and I will see you very soon.